All right, gentlemen. Um, I'm recording this video for Andy at MailSR. Kelly Fierich who helped me quite a bit uh, understanding MailSR and implementing the test. And I'm going to send the Gleb Bahmaton. He's very three people interested. I just want to go through the repository real quick. So very high level. Uh, you have a test account at MailSR application. So all these links are intact and one can follow these and go to the application and be very familiar. Uh, everything is batteries included. Uh, share this Cypress environment JSON file, which includes all these parameters that I set in the MailSR application. So it's also very easy. So all that's shared to make it open to people. And this is a email I don't really care about. Uh, so just get started with npm run and just npm run Cypress open. As soon as you run that, Cypress comes up. Um, then there are basically two approaches. In one of the specs, so Cypress, the Cypress spec, the entire mail side API. So they have very nice documentation here on what it can do. So all of this uh, is implemented, not all of it, but whatever there is there is implemented using Cypress. Uh, we're using some plugins. I'm using wait until uh, to wait for the backend to settle. And then the other one, the, the, the one with side task is essentially all the examples from MailSR is getting started guide. So they have node code samples. And basically, those have been uh, implemented using SciTask. So we're purely using SciTask there. I also have the, the uh, Philips recommended NPM send mail package so that I can send emails with that NPM package. And then uh, a test event went uh, with MailSR and Cypress. And then how people can improve on that. So real quick. Uh, so the simple one first, the side task example. So essentially, so all that stuff is here. And so this send simple email is from the email utility. So that's one example. They have some other examples too. I think I might have attached uh, right here, right? So they have some varieties of sending emails. So one could just go there and start making their own. I made two. I think it should be good to go, good enough for people. Um, all right, so, and then we have the, the samples from the MailSR um, document. So we, I made functions here that are doing the same thing. And essentially you could use these with site tasks, right? They become node functions. So we have a test that tests and activate NPM. So it just checks that you have the right username and then you can create a random email. And uh, perhaps this is not needed, but hey, you can, Either do it this way using your own create email function using Faker library, or you can use side task and have like a chained style, right? And then it runs pretty nicely. And then you can also observe uh, the emails at the back end. Just a note now before every test execution, I delete all the messages. So at the end of test execution, we have only the messages that got generated in this uh, test suite. So you can look at SciTask doesn't really give too much detail about uh, what's been done. So it's uh, kind of a little bit obscured, but you know it's good enough once you figure it out. Uh, so the Cypher spec, which most of the work uh, was in. So you want to view this with the looking at the helper function at the same time. These could be side tasks, but I want to keep it simpler uh, for the audience. So uh, what do we have here? Like. Um, Again, uh, we, so there is a simple, let's see this one. So simple create email function. So it's all JS docked and everything. Create email function, create email, cleans up in the beginning, starts basic. Uh, with site. So these are probably very easy uh, to understand. And then checks that you can create a random email, a few examples. So advice from Andy, we got to, had to get these correctly. So these are left explicitly open here, but no refactoring there just to make it uh, obvious to people. And let's see, we have post messages with helper function. So this all, you know, this is just, I, I'm not 100% sure, but it doesn't error out, uh, but uh, one could look at this, perhaps that's up to improvement. Um, a function to list the messages. So all these little tests have their own uh, helper functions, right? So it builds, like Legos, one step at a time. Okay, this is how you do this. This is how you do that. And then, um, so what is this one? Sends an email using NPM package and then waits until that email arrives. So this is where I used wait until. 
So we have our get email list function here. And right? so it does some cool stuff. And you can just have a look and I think it looks uh, okay. It's clean enough. I had three or four days to work on it and I'm kind of done. Um, and then first, uh, it's well commented, so it's worth checking out, I guess. And then let's see the uh, just one function that does both those, right? We have that here too. Right? And then uh, I think the final one is the most interesting. So the get email body. So you just make any email, right? Uh, send an email and then using that email, just uh, you can essentially just uh, without by abstracting the email ID, you can just check its content. Uh, and that's the function for that. And then um, uh, this retrieve message function also creates an alias. So once that email has been uh, achieved, we can refer back to it and synchronously check what was in there. And I think these are, these are enough to have it built. So besides the emails, sometimes take you know, about uh, 20 seconds to appear in the, in the application, which is totally fine. Um, it runs pretty quick. I think it runs about 40 seconds, right? So uh, as this is running, it's, we're gonna see some uh, emails being generated there. So that's it. I mean, I think anyone can, it's, it's, I, it's all I could think about uh, to have some building blocks and I really like it. I would recommend it to anybody. And um, I guess next step for me is to actually do it in the context of our application. Probably this isn't going to be requiring so much, uh, but then we could do a good mix of side tasks with some of these helpful functions, which anyone can just grab from here, right? So it really looks into those um, assertions and everything. So um, I could, I'm just gonna put this up there, but uh, if you want this included somewhere else, by all means, it's open, share with people because this was very, hard for me to figure out. So someone can benefit from this. If you want this in uh, Cypress examples, perfectly fine. I could even put it there if you show me, um, if you allow me um, or anywhere else. That's pretty much it. And now we have a full suite of uh, Metal Start Test for Cypress. All right, take it easy. Thank you so much. Uh, so stop this.